To demonstrate the new functions, I have prepared some things already. I have imported some new film material of a motocross event into my EDIUS project, and I've placed two clips, clip 003 and 001, onto my timeline, and we can look at them now. I'll mute the audio track, as we don't need it for editing in this case, and it will disturb us while we are editing. So we can see a motocross rider jumping over a hill, landing, and continuing. And in the other clip, we see the same scene, but from a different position and with a wider angle. I would like to combine the two clips together, so that, for example, when the rider jumps, we swap to the second clip to see the event from another viewpoint and see the entire jump. In order to do this, I need the first clip to end about here, and the second clip to start about here. Of course, we could use the methods we previously used, for example, by trimming the clips with M and N to adjust the start and end points, but especially for clips such as this, where we need one clip to flow seamlessly into another, we have a better method in the so-called Trim Editor. I can call the Trim Editor up from the menu under Mode, and I can see the option Trim Mode here, which can also be called up via the F6 key. I'll select it, and now our preview window changes, and we have a row of trimming tools here, which will allow us to perform detailed editing of clips. In order to do this, I need to select the clip I want to work on, and then I can choose what I want to trim. In my case, I'd like to trim the out point of the first clip, and to do this, we have the method here in trim mode, out point. And we have come across the symbol before when trimming in the timeline. If the square bracket is open to the left, then we can edit the out point, so the end of the clip and I'll select it and we can see it is displayed here on the clip. And if I grab it with the left mouse button, I can hold the button down and adjust the end point. At the same time, our preview window is displaying the final frame of the first clip in the left hand window. And the right hand window is showing the first frame of our second clip. This allows us to have a great method of lining the end and start points of the two clips up. And so, I'll trim the first clip up until the point where the rider starts his jump, I'll choose this frame, and now I go to the following clip and select it, and change the trim mode to in point, and now I can adjust the start frame of the second clip with my left mouse button. To avoid the mouse locking to the timeline cursor, I'll move it over here. And I'll try and find the best frame to start the second clip at. I'll try this one. If I want to preview this edit, I can simply play it. In principle, this is OK, but it might be possible to have a more precise edit. If the mouse is not accurate enough, I can use one of the buttons here, which allows me to move through the clip a frame at a time or 10 frames at a time, both forwards and backwards. I can also play the preview from here with the Play Event Area button. And for now, I am happy with that. I can click play here to stop. And I think we have seen in this example that this trim mode is ideal for very precise trim operations, as we can see exactly which frames are positioned at the crossover point between two clips. If I wish to leave the trim editor and return to the normal mode, I simply press the X button here, or I can press the F5 key.